Before we kick off with today's episode, T-shirts. We finally have T-shirts that are going to be available on the Hack Shop Garage website. They're going to be pre-order only. We'll have them open for about three weeks or so. So make sure you head over there and grab yourself one. If you do grab yourself one, it is a great way to support the channel. It really goes a long way to help us out, guys. They're high quality, AS color. They're made in Australia. We source them locally. Yeah, we're really proud to finally have them up. So yeah, anyway, on with the episode. All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, we're working on the XY today. Got a car full of parts and a bare shell. So we've got a lot of stuff to do, probably windows, maybe rubbers, possibly a bunch of other stuff. Um, the engine is inbound. We've seen photos of the engine and it looks freaking awesome. It does. It, does. <laughs> it is ready to go. Yes, what we've heard is we're getting an engine that starts and runs. Yep, and we're expecting around the 400 to 500 horsepower mark, I think. So literally just get our fuel line, go ignition, yeah. start. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Knowing us, we'll probably... <laughs> so that's coming. So what we're going to do is do the boring stuff. Yeah. And then hopefully the good stuff will happen soon. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh, we're windows. So interesting fact about this car, me and Nathan don't have a whole lot to do with this car as far as planning and stuff like that. Rodney just rocks up. <laughs> every now and again and just loads the car up and every time we look at the car we go, oh there's more stuff <laughs> um, just because Rodney's had this car for a very long time and he's got all the pieces back at home in his garage basically and he's slowly feeding us said pieces but we're not organizing any of that we have as you can see too many other projects on the go <laughs> at the one time to try and organize this as well too so Rodney's taking care of that he brings parts and we just open it every week and go oh what are we playing with today <laughs> The one that we're waiting for is the engine and the gearbox, which is, like Nathan said, is, is coming soon, hopefully. But for now, it looks like he's dropped off a bunch of glass, which looks horrible. So you get to clean today because I just realized he hasn't cleaned them. They look filthy. Ugh, I hate cleaning glass. We've got quarter vents, we've got rubbers, a bunch of rare spare stuff, all Bailey channels. He told me there was a YouTube video that we should watch about installing these. We probably won't. <laughs> Do you want to drag it all out? We'll lay it all out. Yeah, I think Let's so. See what we got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Rodney's come to join us to raid the parts bin. Yeah. And Nathan's already started. now added a price tag of $250,000 because of original barn dust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give everybody who's watching this right now one guess why Nathan grabbed that particular piece right now. I'm sure it's got a little something to do with the fact that it's got an original sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, we got to keep the sticker. I did. I, I literally, I didn't want to touch any of those windows. The minute I seen this one, I was like, oh, it's got a sticker on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's that looks new... like the front one. Uh, window guides. Oh, the new. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Lovely. The door locks. So that's a new rubber as well. So that goes there. There's too many windows here. Why couldn't you play an R and Coop or something like that? Less windows. <laughs> oh, these are the door handles. So Ooh, cool. Start cool, with cool, these. Cool, cool, cool. I will start with yeah, these. Yeah, that way we can open the door. Are they just the fronts? Just fronts. All right, try and find the rears. He doesn't. He's got the rears at home. No, they Are they? Door here now. Oh, okay. We've got the rears. We'll do the rears too. No, that's rears. That's the rears. We'll do the front. <laughs> Lovely. This is way out of our comfort zone. <laughs> you go, you close that really confidently. Oh, it's tough. Do we need to grease it? I think we need to grease it because it's not springing back. The latch inside is, oh, it's so gunky, that's why. Oh, I see what you mean, the actual like lever. The mechanism is so, it doesn't spring back. All right, so we're gonna pull the actual mechanism out because we found the handle works fine, but you'll see when we pull this out, the mechanism behind it is just gunked up from I actually wonder whether it's actually, it's just grease and grime, but it could also be from when they 
dead into the door. Oh. It could be that as well. So we're gonna take it out, hit it with some degreaser, and uh, hopefully clean it up and then put it back in and it should work nicely. So this is what we're dealing with. You can see, look oh, how complicated wow. it is. Look how gunked up it is though. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's a lot to scrub up. <laughs> no, I reckon we just hit it with some degreaser and we'd, or, and just see how it goes and see if we can just free the mechanism. That's it for Hackshop Garage today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out all the mechanisms because whoever's painted the inside of the doors has sprayed the whole mechanism and jammed it up and it's real tight, especially that side. So we're gonna just pop them out with some degreaser, wire, wire brush them, try and get some gunk out of them and put them back in because they're too expensive brand new. Yeah. All right, maybe a change of plans. We were gonna clean them all up because we thought they were 475 each Roddy just told us now that they're actually 475 in total. <laughs> so we might go down that path because that way they're zinked and they're gold and they look pretty. Uh, what we were going to do is, which I've done here already, is we were just going to paint them up in a hammer tone um, just to keep it simple and easy. But if we can get new ones for you know, under 500 bucks, it's his checkbook. He's happy to spend it. So maybe we'll do that instead because these are pretty gunky and shitty. So all I was going to do is use the hammer tone and clean her up. And then I was just gonna lithium grease the crap out of them and clean them up, but they're still tight though, eh? They're still tight. So I think we'll just put the rest of the door handles in. And then move on. And then move on and put the new catches in when they come, I guess. Lovely. We put the door rubbers on so we're not like. Yeah, I, I wanna put the door rubbers on too. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So the door seals on these things are interesting. They've got like, they go into like a channel. So you sort of, looks like we push them in and hopefully they stay in. <laughs> yeah, that works. It's going to be a slow process, but I've only just got to get around there. So is everything else with this car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, like butter. You're a pro. All right, I'll start doing the other side. Yeah. So I just put, I've just put back in the old latch just so it doesn't overextend and dent the door or anything like that while we work on it. It actually doesn't look half bad in the hammer tone. It turned out all right. Anyway, he's ordered the zinc ones now, so they'll be coming soon. They'll work a lot better, but now we have that in. We have our rubber seals in as well, too. That's all done. Whew. Now we got a nice... They got that pop. When they open up. But they've, uh, they, they went together pretty easy. It was kind of annoying to push them all in. It took a bit of work. Yeah. Push all the actual clips in. But yeah, that's where we're at. Windows. Uh, so we're going to try to put in the back ones first. Because you can see Nathan's already cleaned one up. So now the car's worth less because it doesn't have the original barn dust on it anymore. But that was what it did look like. How did that happen in... This is in a residential area in... <laughs> this wasn't on a farm. I don't in, know how in, in a closed happen. garage. Yeah, in a closed garage. I don't even know how that happens. Must have been a cat. <laughs> so these ones... Oh, God. Oh, we're looking at the wrong side. No, that's the other side. Sit in the back there. But we're just trying to figure out how... That All squishes it in. Together. The best bit is about this build is we didn't see it get pulled apart, so now we get to learn and put everything back together blind. It's like the blind leading the blind. The blind leading the blind. So, first thing we're going to do is we've got new Bailey channel, so we've got to try and pull this Bailey channel out. Ugh. That's crusty and dirty. Yep. So we'll pull this out. I hope we're supposed to pull this out. Yep. And we got some new stuff over here. He said we bought, he bought extra, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So when we spruce them up, we have some to replace it with. All right, well. Shove it in there. Shove a lot of ding dong. But this is a Oh. Oh. That was easy. That was in really easy. I hope it's not too easy. Well, there's a little tab down here. That looks important. Like it does something. That looks like it uh, stops it. Yeah. Or you might squish that over. I'd say you squish that over. No, nah, because then it'll hit the glass. Oh no, that fits nice. All right, that's one. <laughs> Gotta get the right hole. Oh, this is gonna look good. Now, Nathan, if you're a betting man, would you say that hole? Yep. Uh, yeah. 
looks good enough to me. <laughs> so I've just sprayed some soapy water on it to try and help me glide it in. Glide it in. But that's gone in. This side needs to come down and a bit. Supposedly, this just. How's that going for you? Sits in there. <laughs> Do you want me to take the bottom bolt out? Oh wait, what if we slip the window into that first? Yeah. <laughs> now that you've wedged it in there real good. <laughs> and he's covered it in soap so he can't pull it out. <laughs> Popped out again. It's got to definitely have to sit in there because then that sits over this. Rubber and then grease? it'll just go in. Rubber grease? Do we have rubber grease? Yeah. Red right stuff. Now there's just grease everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You're not holding it at I, all. Hell, I'm worried it's gonna go <laughs> and guillotine my finger. So, we've got the windows in. Michael, Michelle tackled this side, I tackled that side because it just seemed to not work and we just had to kind of uh, groan, moan and bash with hammers to get it in. There, but was we ended up... there was a lot more swearing than what we can show on camera. Exactly right. So we turned it off and did it. <laughs> this is an hour later. <laughs> nah, so Michael got his in, I got that side in. Um, it's sitting up a little bit in the it's corner. It's sitting there. up a bit. I think what we're going to do is just get it all in and see how easy the window goes up and down because we'll know if this needs to come in more with how tight the window is. Yeah. So, but for now that'll do. We'll put it in the sun, let the sun settle everything. Yeah. Hopefully. Other than that, we have a quarter window in. It looks cool. And then we've got to fit the Bailey channel and then we're ready to put some glass in and the mechanism. Yep. Oh, it's hard in here, isn't it? Hard to get your fingers in here. Yeah, you're better off using the screwdriver. I just want to get one window in. If we get one window in today, or maybe even two, I'll be stoked. I know. I'd be happy if we get, yeah, both windows in and winding up and down. Yeah, that would be a win for us today, I think. I'd say this is this side because when it goes in there and that's fully extended up, it'll go down. Yeah. It's weird because on the Holdens they have two arms, like a scissor. Yeah, 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 they do, don't and they? they? Go on the slide, but this one looks like it's only one. Watch up there, mate. <laughs> right, that's it. Right. We've got our monkey window. This is not going to come off, is it? Actually, once the sort of car's finished, you'd give it a polish, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, come up yeah. there. <laughs> I think I got the wrong side. <laughs> Probably should put it in before we put that in. So we ended up getting the inside channel on. That was a bit hard, but we just used a flat blade scraper type scraper. thing. Just gasket scraper. <laughs> gasket scraper and hammer it in like that. It actually worked really well once we got that. Now we're going to try and figure out if we can get these in. Ready? You ready? Oh, out of the way. Hey! <laughs> now I don't know, I know why that happened. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That's why. That's not good. <laughs> How is that attached to the glass? I think it's glued. Oh, that's not good at all. And we'll be back after a short break. 
Well, there you go. Look at our glass. We have windows. Can you wind it down for us, Michael? No. Yeah, we're just, it's just going to be... You know what we should just do? Get a block and put it in there and just always have half-cracked window. And we're fine. Because <laughs> what happened is, when we were installing it, of course, this is the other side. The other window. And you see how this rail here is firmly attached to the glass? Turns out this side, not so much. <laughs> So the actual rail at the bottom of the glass is separated. We don't know exactly why, because you saw when we were winding it and then it, the rail came down, but the window stayed put. And it wasn't even that tight or anything in there. This has just come completely loose. So we need to talk to someone who knows what they're doing to find out whether this is like glued in or how it's attached or crimped on. We've got no idea. So we need to talk to someone to figure out how we got to do this now. We also think the best way too would be to put the glass in first and then the stationary pull glass around it afterwards yeah. now going back but we didn't know so it's a learning curve but yeah now i guess we got to try and figure out what this problem is but otherwise it works really good it goes up and down nicely <laughs> the bailey channel works <laughs> mid but unfortunately yeah now we've got to try and glue that back on which means that probably needs to come back out <laughs> And we're done for the day. <laughs> we're done. Anyway, until then. Well, that's easier. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing? So what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to do the other side now. We're going to do it differently. It's a new day now. We've got we spent a few days collecting a few parts and also reading into how we should have done it. Hmm. And we did it completely wrong. Go figure. I know. Everyone's <laughs> surprised. Who would have thought it? I mean, we still got the glass in, but it could have been a lot easier. We found a book now, which we've read through, and turns out you're supposed to not have this in and put the glass in first and then pull all this in. So now we're going to undo basically what we did on this side to see if it makes it any easier because it was pretty difficult. And if this comes out easy, great. If it doesn't, well, then we're just doing it the difficult way. I don't know. <laughs> it's in there now, and I'm kind of just thinking, do we leave it? What do you you got it in last time. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe we just try getting it in, and if it doesn't work, I'll pull it out. And yeah. Do it again. Yeah, just go for it, I reckon. The good thing is this time we don't have the weather strips in. They're supposed to go in last as well. Which we didn't do last time. Hold off. Hold off. <laughs> that was quick. That was good. Well done. <laughs> hey! It worked. We have a window. That's perfect. Now we need to do is do the other three. Fix the one that we stuffed up originally. <laughs> so remember that rail that we had fall off the bottom of the glass on that door right there? We've come up with what we think is a solution. We talked to a few people. You spoke to a glass guy, didn't you, Nate? Yeah. And basically the consensus, consensus is use a bit of sticker. So we're just going to fill it with some silicon and then I'm going to sit it back on. Did you cut the cat? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was wondering why that was. Ah, so cool. well, that one's for the blooper. That looks better. Just do a slither in there. Just the bridge. Just Hopefully it works. Hopefully. Otherwise, we'll be in a bit of strife, won't we? Hmm. It means the windows will come back out. This is another good Aussie word strife. Strife. Struth. 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 You're in for a bit of strife. <laughs> That's got to be today's word of the day, you reckon? Struth? Or strife. Comment truth or strife. Take your pick in the comment below, and we'll pick two lucky people to send us ticket back to, as always. Now, let's see if I can get it in. I reckon we could just do it like they did on the old school Porsches. Just run the leather strap and get rid of the regulators, you know, for lightweightness. Lightweight, maybe. I'm gonna get silicon everywhere. Oh yeah. I wonder if you just go right up and jam it up the top. Is that gonna, or is it gonna hit? That's what I'm gonna do. Just yeah, go right up with it. Just gotta make sure. That's. Like in the glass, yeah. that way, correctly. Yeah. Fixed. Perfect. Now we just leave that for how long is it? Uh, it's usually 24 hours at Sikaflex. Yeah, alright. Well, let's try. 
Just in, this is just for Loki, just in case you know he comes in here and starts playing with the car. Do not wind. You could just take the winder off. I could have just taken the winder <laughs> off. You're, you're right. <laughs> you got a rag stuck to your shoe. Let's go get some food. Healthy lunch. Real slice. So as you've seen the other day, the door locks are pretty gunked up with body dead nar and just years of crud. So you can actually buy them brand new. Well, and not brand new, you can get them reconditioned. Reconditioned. And because, you know, well, it's not our car and we have a Rodney, <laughs> we just say, hey Rod, you can get these brand new. They're already zinc plated, they're gold, they're brand new, they're not going to seize up. So we've got a new. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be a simple job as just switching these out. Hopefully. And what was that? I think they were 470 bucks. 420 dollars. Oh, yeah, 470, sorry. For the four. By the time you've pulled yours apart, cleaned them up, zinc plated them yourself. Exactly right. Like, that's nice and free. So if we compare these to like. Compare the pair? What would you prefer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put them down. So you can sort of see. Gunky? Not, Not so gunky. gunky. Oh. How much better does that look? Ooh la la. I'm actually pretty excited to see how the door feels after this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is it better? Yeah, it pops now. That's nice. That's better, yeah. I will admit, like, the Holden, uh, sorry, the Ford handles are so much more elegant than the HQ pull-up, yeah, no, pull-up pull up type. Pull-up ones, yeah, these are such a nice handle. They're way better. Yeah, that's a, that's a handle that you could, you could tie something to the roof off that handle and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> you know what? That's it's, a tie-down point. There's probably people that have used them as tie-down points, <laughs> let's be honest, oh. back in the day. Alright, right, should we just change it all up now? Yeah, let's do that. So the windows are back in, we put brand new door lock mechanism, um, the rear windows are now in fully and the window things going up and down, I'll show you. Uh, don't do that one. <laughs> I was like, what's he doing? That's why I have a sign. <laughs> Still got heaps to do, but you know, parts are slowly coming, but we have something more even bigger. Yes, we do. It's even bigger, better and better than windows. <laughs> Windows. We're doing the windows today. That gets people excited, doesn't it? <laughs> hey guys, we're putting window rubbers in a Bailey channel. <laughs> anyway, shall we show them what's Meanwhile, really exciting? Meanwhile, better delivery. Yeah. We have an engine. And look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. So, we have an engine. This engine was built by a fellow that Rodney found. Um, he basic basically assembled the whole thing. He's pretty well versed in uh, 351s, you can tell, because he's got all the original like stickers. That's even cloth. Did you notice that was cloth? Yeah, I think you must be able to buy them. Yeah, cloth. The original like yellow stamp on the rock covers. Uh, he's done an incredible job of making this engine just look pretty much as stock as you can, whilst with a few extra goodies and stuff like that. We won't go into too much detail on this episode about the engine, because we need to find out more about it ourselves. But what I can tell you is, it should be good for around 450 horsepower. I don't know what all the cam specs and all that are yet, we'll talk about that more when we install the engine. There's still a few things yet to come, like the distributor is on its way, it's getting re at the minute, it's an electronic distributor. It's going to be running mechanical fuel pump, um, the reason why is because the bloke that built this said that Rodney's after basically a, a cruiser, not so much uh, crazy street car, drag car, anything like that, and he said 450 horse as a cruiser, these things, mechanical fuel pump will be fine. If we wanted to go any more than that, he would say definitely you need to upgrade the pump, but for this case it'll be fine. Um, no, nah, it, it does look really good, this thing, so pretty excited to see this go in. It, it looks stock, it's like, once the air cleaners on this, especially with the shaker, you won't see any of the Demon Carby or anything like that, so it's going to look pretty well stock mm. still, so it's going to be an impressive bit of kit. Anyway, that's it for today's episode, that's as far as we've got. We're going to see if we can find some more pieces and parts. There's still plenty to be done, but we got somewhere today. The windows are, the back windows are in, <laughs> door handles are in, the doors are open and closed, which is good. That's a good start. And we're slowly getting there. We're starting to get a bit familiar with the car, aren't we? Like yeah. it's, it's actually starting to make a little bit more sense. Yeah. Now. 
But if you like this episode and you'd like to continue on following the build, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a like because it's going to help us out a lot. If you'd like to support us even further, make sure you head on over to the website where you can get a bunch of Hack Shop merch. And make sure you head over to Burson Garage to check out members' exclusive pricing and lots of competitions and stuff that they run throughout the year. It's really worthwhile looking into. Other than that, I'll see you in the next episode. We could sell these on eBay to anyone who wants to build a barn find. <laughs> <laughs> Authentic barn find quarter window. Yeah, just put it on Graves Online and you're all good, man. Four others? Yeah, but we need a... Oh, we do too. We need to wander up. What do we need to do? If you need help, there's a diagram on Graves or website. No, we can't. Oh, yeah. When have we ever needed instructions? I've seen your video. <laughs> I just let the record show that Nathan is ticked up me right now. <laughs> That's definitely going on the bloopers. I love how before he was saying I was widget about windows. This is why I widget about windows. Who wants to do windows? This sucks. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? The glass breaks. That would be bad. You dent the door, you get angry, you jump on the roof of the car, you jump on the roof of the car, you dent the roof of the car, you go down to the bonnet, you fall through the bonnet hole, and then you cut yourself open through the bonnet hole. That could be the worst case. That yeah. could be the worst case, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's a, ba that's a bad day in the shed. <laughs> I like your dance, what are you doing there? I'm um, cleaning, cleaning my hands dry. You look like you're doing the single ladies dance. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha!